Get well soon, Press. When people think of visiting Northeast Ohio, places like the Rock Hall or the Football Hall of Fame obviously come to mind, but we also boast what is now a very unique seafood mecca. In fact, it's the very last of its kind. I recently ventured to Cuyahoga Falls to taste for myself why the very last Arthur Creatures restaurant is drawing diners far and wide. The town of Bend, Oregon is home to the last blockbuster video store in the world. People come from far and wide to experience something from their past in the only place that they can. Wow, what a difference! Over 2,000 miles away stands another last of its kind, the final freestanding Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips. The world's last freestanding Arthur Treacher's. The Arthur Treacher's restaurant franchise was born in Columbus, Ohio in 1969 and was named after a popular British character actor of the time. Hello! Hello! The concept quickly expanded, due in large part to a vibrant advertising campaign. You can't cook this meal the way that Arthur Treacher's can. But more importantly, it was just good fish. The secret's at your fingertips. It's Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips. At one point, there were more than 800 stores across the country. But today, one lone restaurant remains, and it's right here in Cuyahoga Falls. Ben Vittoria, owner of this last bastion of hush puppy heaven, says that people's love of the food is a result of the work that goes into it. What's the secret to uh, frying good fish? Well, there, there are several, but uh, the most important thing is you have to have a good quality oil. Mm. And we use 100% vegetable oil, has to be changed regularly. I have no qualms in bringing customers or people that want to see our operation in the back. Not a lot of restaurant owners are willing to do that. This summer also marks this location's 50th year in business. Vittoria says he's watched generations share meals together here. I guess this, this nostalgic view of reliving a, perhaps a, a simpler past. Sure. And uh, I see them bringing their children or grandchildren and uh, wanting to sample, uh, you know, uh, memories. The city of Cuyahoga Falls recently declared June 30th to be Arthur Treacher's Day. Mayor Don Walter says it's an honor to be home to this location. I brag all day long. In fact, this is the only place that you can come. It's a tourist attraction. So they do come from all over. We're really proud to have them in Cuyahoga Falls. Vittoria credits the hard work and marketing of his employees, like manager Christian Burden, who balances fish frying with his studies at the University of Akron. Well, it's uh, it started out when I was in high school, 15 and a half, and I've kind of just grown to the top, and it's been a, it's a great environment. Um, he's taken care of me the last eight years. Years seeing firsthand the love people have for this food. Just last night, we had somebody who literally came from New York, and they literally said, we came here just to eat lunch. That's either love or psychosis. Uh, exactly. But of course, the biggest question is, does the food still taste like the Arthur Treachers that we all grew up loving? Arthur Treachers and free coke. Now that's something else. Yes, that is one of the things that uh, we pride ourselves on, is that I have maintained original recipes. Mm -hmm. We have not changed anything. There was only one way to find out. At first I forgot to use vinegar and the ghost of Arthur Treacher very delicately spun in his grave. I'm home again. There's a lot of pressure when you're the last of your kind. The collective memory of a generation of fish lovers is relying upon you to stay open and maintain that link to our past. This is Mike Polk going heavy on the malt vinegar for 3 News. Yep. Ooh.